Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So today we got a tiny device to explore. So this is LG's LG Cookie Plus. Uh, a very tiny device as you can see, released back in 2009. And this device is quite interesting. The UI is called Flash UI, which I really like actually. It is not really like Nokia's Indian OS or something like that, or Samsung's Java. It's a little bit different, but the code is actually Java. So you can run Java application on this device. Too. So let's go first to boot up the device. So let the device boot up. So in front we do have a touch screen which is resistive touch screen and three three inch uh, and also we got a front facing camera and few buttons and you are getting all the buttons as like an Android device as you can see there are a few buttons and also even shutter button also here and on top we are also getting our lock switch and 3.5 mm headphone jack. And we are getting micro USB port here. And on the back, we are getting a 3 megapixel camera without any focus or anything like that. And the device has a resistive touch skin. The touch skin here is pretty good actually. Uh, it's a better one than than few Samsung devices and other devices. And it is certainly um, pretty much same as Nokia's resistive touch skin. So let's let's first like reduce the brightness here. So the screen is quite bright right now, so let's go and it's brightness section, maybe 40 is okay. So, so the main interesting part of this device is actually the UI, nothing like that. The spec of this device is not really high, high for a 2009 device event, but it got like 3G and Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi here, and also it got 30 MB of internet storage. And also, uh, if you really want, you can put an SD card here. That also you can do. Uh, interesting part of this device, I got this device for maybe a dollar. But this device is, doesn't come with any kind of battery right now. You will not find battery, a compatible battery. You will not find. It's very difficult. So the way I'm using right now is, as you can see here, I had this type of battery. Many of them actually I bought. Each of them I bought for maybe 30 cent. I bought. 30 or 40 of them so my old all of my older device is getting this battery right now i just put this battery and there no need to solder actually you just can put it there so it is working you can charge it you can use the device so almost all the uh, uh, older devices i have i uh, didn't come with battery so i'm using this battery but they're working perfectly fine so going with this device as you can see there are three home skin in this device first home screen you can put some contact and second home screen you can use it for messaging as you can see there are uh, many contacts here and in front we have another uh, this is the main screen and you can put your widget here too so if you press here you can put widget certainly you cannot put any kind of application here like you can do with uh, Nokia device in the UI but here you cannot do interesting part is it got a lot of things actually for customization so if I press the menu button, so as you can see here, uh, the app tray is like here and it's also categorized. So if you have, you got your communication, you got your entertainment, you got your uh, utilities and also the setting, which also got all the settings you can do with this device. So basically we will go with the setting first. So as you can see here, we got profile screen setting. Most interesting thing actually in screen setting because you can tweak the theme and UI and other things. And we got phone setting, call setting, Bluetooth, touch setting, connectivity, where you can set up all the internet related setting and also Java related setting here. And back button is here as you can see. Touch is pretty uh, responsive actually, you can like used. And also one more thing actually, this device can do multitasking to certain apps like if you're using Opera Mini or browser or anything like that, you can do. And we do have a notification panel here. If you press here, you can see the notification, the battery. And also if you have an SD card here, it will show here. And also you can press here to go to the music player directly from here. As you can see, turn the music player on directly. And also we have a Bluetooth. But you cannot access the notification panel rather than the home screen. So if you press here, now you cannot access that. So the, in, the network is connected here. I did try phone call and other things. It was working perfectly fine. So now going with the like customization of this device. It got a lot of thing actually. So if you go to screen setting. 
for a tiny device like this, getting this kind of thing actually pretty amazing, I would say. And we got a wallpaper section here. You can choose wallpaper for three wallpaper for each uh, home screen. So whatever you like, it's pretty awesome actually. Uh, you got live square or this live place and other things with that we these are actually home screen setting you can choose you can choose whatever you like as you can see here do or uh, the way you want to look like show them up or look and also we got headset theme so there are two types of theme one is in dark theme and one is um, white theme uh, dark theme does come with red radiant like you can choose what kind of color you want you can choose red you can choose whatever you like only in the dark theme so it will change the whole theme in the UI even in if your dialer and other things will be changed as you can see here and the white theme is also ready um, it's pretty similar to uh, Samsung's device um, like Samsung's Chrome and other things like that I do have few Samsung device which got this type of theme it's also looking good as you can see so white theme does look good in the camera actually so as you can see it's a similar but the icons are changed and many things are changed here the UI is a little bit different here and going to the screen setting there are a few more things you can do you can change the front there is also you can do a style you can choose font style and there are two fonts right now one is default and another is the one as you can see it's also pretty similar to the Samsung's one uh, uh, like theme called Rosemary maybe, I, if I remember correctly. So Rosemary theme is pretty much similar. And also you can choose a uh, startup, uh, what it called animation. Or oh, you, you can choose any of these. But that's also good actually. You are getting a lot of customization for this kind of tiny device. And in the connectivity section you can do like, if you get one of these, if you really want to browse internet, you really need to set up that VPN setting and other things, otherwise the internet will not work. And in the communication setting, you are getting all the basic things like phone call and messaging parts. These things are working perfectly fine. For a device uh, from 2009, the core things are still working perfectly fine like phone call and messaging you can still do. And also you can take picture and other things. So in the entertainment part, we got camera, we got music and other things. So if we press the camera, the camera is, is pretty good actually. For 3 megapixel camera, it does take pretty good pictures. But the main uh, problem is that if you really want to access the front camera, you have to go here. And I don't really remember where is that. If I go here, maybe uh, we can go tap one more here. And as you can see, maybe swap camera section. Now it will turn on the front camera. The front camera is actually pretty good for this device. It is much better than the camera we found in like Nokia N8 and other devices. This one is better one actually. I did try actually. And... The camera is better. The speakers are pretty good, and also we got our buttons to control the uh, uh, like uh, volume here. Uh, that's quite good for this type of devices. And I don't have any music here, maybe, but one of the so the sound is pretty clear for LG device. I would go pretty loud as you can see. Obviously, not that bad, I will say, for the 2009 device and this tiny device. So the speaker quality is pretty good. The um, and like a interesting part of this device actually, we got games and application here. So if I go to here, game section, there are few games. These all are previewed games. The only game I have installed is MotoGP09, which is uh, 2009. It does work perfectly fine. Most of the games actually demo, so you can't really download them anymore because the service is all wrong gone. So if I press on MotoGP, it will turn on. The interesting part of this device, usually I haven't seen this type of thing. Uh, whenever I have used Symbian device or other devices, usually you can access full display or you can play games like that. But in this device, actually, if you install any kind of Java games or anything like that, that will show you this navigation buttons to ex like play the games and do the other thing. So I, I don't think it is a pretty good way to access those things. And if you press here, actually, it if you go to the running section, you, it will show if you like if anything is running in background. Uh, you can do multitasking too there. So entertainment, game, and application. So few other things I have installed here. If I go to application section, as you can see here, I have installed Opera Mini, Opera Mini 4, and JTU. So if you want to install Opera Mini on this type of device, almost all the Java device will work. So you can go like you can go to default browser. So if I go here. 
entertainment and browser utilities if i go to the browser i enter this section I, if i go like you can go to m.operamini.com any java device will work perfectly fine any symbian device also so it will directly detect your device and it will uh, show you which operamini you can install you can just click and download and also if you go to other download section you can choose the language you want or you can install different variant of it like i have installed 8 and 4.5 as you can see here we do have uh, options here so if you have like older device like this if you want to browse or if you want to have a little fun with this kind of device you can do that and going with the, again going back to the game and app section application so now i have installed jetube here but jetube is not working but it does turn on as you can see until okay we try to load actually maybe it will load but it cannot play so that is the issue so as you can see here we are having this issue but the application is uh, installed and i had like i had this issue with my simian devices too it's not really problem with the device it's maybe problem with the application it is not supporting the device maybe so it could be like that and uh, if i go to opera mini here this one is opera mini right and it also works perfectly fine but it is a little bit difficult to like work with so you are getting these buttons and other things here and you can still browse facebook though here and uh, facebook is still working fine on any kind of older devices you can still access facebook not really twitter or anything like that but facebook you can access so if i press on facebook right now so as you can see here so currently I'm using my phone data here and it is working on phone data and perfectly fine actually. It is pretty slow though but it's work perfectly fine. So as you can see here, Facebook is also working. Kind of interesting. If I if I maybe close directly from here, the application or if I press here, as you can see here, the application are showing here and if I press on application, it directly goes to application folder and as you can see here, there is a pause icon here which is showing that the application is running in background if i click here again if i press open mini so kind of interesting for a java device to multitask i haven't seen something like that maybe samsung device can do that too actually but for lg device i haven't seen that so quite a tiny device but working perfectly fine and it, it also have like you can auto rotate the display but it does work only here only on the on the menu only so if i if i go to like Android, so it will only work on Android and it can go. I only uh, one side and two side, maybe only portrait and landscape only in the left hand side, like Nokia devices. But it only works on the Android, but other than that, it will not work, work anywhere else. Maybe if you play videos, that time it will work. But it is a tiny device, as you can see. If I check you, if you see my hand. I don't really know how can people use this kind of device. It's very really difficult to use actually. But the touch is pretty good. So you will not have any issue actually. So everything is working perfectly fine. That's all about this tiny device LG Cookie Plus. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.